Remember my worth and I am invaluable. No appliance works without me. You need me at every doorstep. This video talks about the various electrical components, their symbols and also about the effects of electricity. Did the power has to go only now? It is so difficult without electricity. Yes, that's true. When we were young, we never had electricity. We used to find it difficult to read and write. We never had fans, never had tube light, never had TV or radio. Nothing was there. On the TV, they show that in the cities, cooking is done with the help of electricity. Clothes are also washed with the help of electricity. Even vessels are also cleaned with the help of electricity. Is it? Our district hospitals instruments Machines like X-ray machine are run on electricity. But why does the power in our village go so often? It is very bright in the mornings and it is pitch dark in the nights. Can't we capture the sun's rays in a box so that we can use it at night? Does it happen like that? Are there power cuts in other villages and other cities like this only? Children, you are all still here only. Will you not go to Munna's house to get the grass? Take a torch and go. It is very dark outside. Look there. There is no power in the entire street. But the pole at the crossroads has a light on. How is it possible? Ramesh, stop the torch light. The moonlight is enough for today. How nice it would be if the sun shines throughout the day and there is no darkness. Hmm, Ramesh look there, the electric wire has fallen off. I wonder if the electricity cut is because of this. Yes, it is possible. Let us go on and see. Look, there are a few people working here and see. The uncle from the electric substation is also here. Ramesh, Munna, Lata, how come you all are here? Good, Good evening, evening, uncle. Don't come near the electric wire. Uncle, how are the street lights switched on? There is darkness in the entire area. This is run on solar energy. So, can the light of sun actually be captured and used? Yes, it is possible. Once the electric wire is repaired, electricity will be restored. It is very dark here and it's late night. Children, get going to your houses now. After some time, the electricity was restored and the children went back to their houses. Do you all know about the solar energy? Solar energy is the energy derived from the sun. There are lots of uses of the solar energy. However, the power electricity generated by the sun is essentially called the solar energy. I could not sleep the whole night. I was curious to know why the electricity supply got cut off once the wires fell down. Munna, Lata, let us go to the engineer uncle and discuss this. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, children. This early in the morning. What is the matter? Uncle, why are there so many power cuts in this village? We are going to have the exams shortly and it is getting difficult to study. Yesterday, one wire got cut and fell down. In the last few days, there were very heavy winds. We cannot stop the winds, isn't it? Oh, I see. When there are winds and when there is rain, we take precautions and cut the power supply. This is to ensure that no casualties are there. Uncle, but why is that? Sometimes when there is heavy wind, the wires fall down and people may be electrocuted. This is dangerous. 
does electricity have a heating effect? Yes. Can any one of you tell me the electrical appliances which get heated due to electricity? My mother tells me that electrical appliances should not be touched by wet hands. Uncle, we have a rod in our house to heat the water. The water gets heated in 10 minutes. Very good. That is called an immersion rod. Due to the heating effect of electricity, water becomes hot when immersion rod is dipped in it and power supply is given. Uncle, my mother cooks food in an electric stove. When there is power supply, then the food is cooked in it. Very good. Due to the heating effect of electricity, many appliances work on this principle. Children, can you enlist those appliances which work due to the heating effect of electricity? Think and enlist these appliances with the help of your teachers. You will have a lot of fun. Uncle, isn't this the symbol of a battery and this is a symbol of a bulb? Like how we use a symbol for a road and danger symbols, we have symbols for various electrical components. For example, this is a symbol for bulb. This is a symbol for wire. This is a symbol for switch etc. This is the positive and negative terminal of a battery. Yes, you are right. And this is a simple electrical circuit. For every appliance run on electricity, there will be an electrical circuit. We will come to know of the electrical supply through this circuit. I have understood this circuit. The power supply is through the positive terminal of the battery and the bulb is glowing because of this. Excellent children. You have learned everything very quickly. I wish the birds sitting on that electric wire understand. A lot of them sit on the live wires, get electrocuted and die. Due to all know that sometimes these birds are responsible for power cuts. Thank you uncle for explaining this to us. We shall take your leave. Can you find out more symbols of electricity? Come, let us all find out. Children, by now you must have recognized who I am. I provide light to you all. I'm very important part of your daily routine. Yes, I am electricity. But have you seen how powerful I am? Please be careful about me. With naked feet, wet hands, do not touch any electrical appliance. If any of the electrical wires fall down, do not touch me. Stay away from electrical poles. They are not meant for playing. In this video you have learned about the electrical components and their symbols. You also have learned about the heating effect of electricity. In the next video you will learn about the magnetic effect of the electricity. Thank you. See you soon.